Welcome to IDI's Air Sealing and Insulation Series, filmed on location with Matt Reisinger and The Build Show. We're going to look at a lot more than insulation. We're going to be looking at blower doors, building forensics, removal, air sealing, and re-insulating. So let's get into part one, setting up the blower door and getting ready to test. Ken Allison with IDI and I'm here with Matt Reisinger in Austin, Texas. We are on the set of Real Remodels. If you don't know who Matt Reisinger is, if you haven't watched him yet, you need to. I'm telling you, you need to. I'm here for a reason. Matt and I know each other from summer camp. We've been friends for a while. Yeah, right? a little bit of geekiness there, but the fact of the matter is, this is a tremendous canvas for us to work on. So when we look at this house, we have an empty house. Matt, you actually put a series out on this. What did you name this? Yeah, so I call this the Real Remodels Can. You also see it titled on YouTube as the crappy 70s house. That I love that title. <laughs> so we've got an old house that's obviously been neglected. Yep. It's fallen apart, but what a place to come in run a blower door, look at the walls, and actually do something. I, I really believe if you're not testing, you are guessing. Exactly right. And guessing doesn't fix anything. Nope. You said know. something about your theory of what they do on, we'll just call it the network shows. Yeah, I mean, it's all lipstick remodels, Ken. They're, they're touching the finishes, they're putting new cabinets in, they're, you know, hey, put some Freon in the unit and maybe re-blow a little insulation so the inspector thinks it's a better house. But in fact, they're not doing anything to the performance, to the comfort, to the durability, to the indoor air quality of those houses. And on this project, we're making a difference. So what are we doing today, Ken, with you? Today, we are actually going to, first, we're going to get the blower door running. Okay. We're gonna run a quick test to check the house. Yep. And that's mostly because I heard this thing has a lot of leakage. <laughs> We actually ran another blower door test with my normal blower door guy. I know the number, but I'm going to withhold so that you can see what the number is. We'll see what it comes in at on this one. Then what we're going to do, we're going to slow the blower door way down. Okay. We're going to try and draw in all that Texas heat okay. across the building materials and look for where the air leaks are actually coming in at. We're going to do that with an infrared camera. Awesome. Part of that, though, is we need everybody to know we've got a bit of an issue. We have two air conditioning units. One of them is working. We got it working earlier today, so we don't have a lot of temperature difference to yeah, work with, but happens. we have some. Yep. So with that, let's take a look. All right, Ken, let's do it. Setting up the door is easy. Snap the frame together. Then place the frame in the doorway. Make it slightly smaller than the doorway when you expand it out. Then take it and place it on the cloth. Start on the bottom, work your way up the sides. Then put that back in the doorway. Expand everything out. Once you get the cams tightened and everything in place, then put the cross braces in the middle of the door and get those set up and tightened as well. You want the red tube to go to the outside so that it's not in the way of the fan. And then you're going to grab the fan and put it on the crossbar. Now we can connect the yellow pressure tube to the fan. We can connect the manometer to the cross brace, but before we get to that, let's make sure we put the red tube to the red port, the yellow tube to the yellow port, plug in the fan, turn it on, then we can turn on the manometer. But before we get to that, even though we're just testing at low speed to look for leakage, we want to make sure all the windows are closed, any gas appliances are set to pilot, and the mechanical systems are off. We don't want to draw that flame out with our blower door. We also need to make sure that we don't have any ashes or coals in the fireplace or wood stove that could be dislodged and brought into the room by the fan. connect my phone to this manometer okay and part of the reason why is we want to be able to walk around and see what's going on the next thing is you'll notice here and on my phone oh, this notice. shows the fan is wide open okay you said this house was pretty leaky so we're going to take off this ramp yep. now normally if we were doing an airtight house that's all we'd take off yeah that's awesome well we're not just taking that off we're going to go ahead and inside here there's some clips 
We're going to take this fan to wide open. So we can go as fast as possible. We need a lot of air. As many CFM as we can do. Yes, so what we're going to do now is we're going to first verify what you said before. So we've got our uh, footage in there. Oh, sweet. In other words, when we went to settings, this shows 19,600 cubic feet. Okay, so that's the air volume inside the structure, inside the conditioned envelope. Indeed. 19,600. Yes, and with that, what we want to find out when we talk about an air change, a lot of people don't know what an air change is. Mm -hmm. If we suck every ounce of air out of this house mm -hmm. and pay to condition it again, yep. that's an air change. Gotcha. You were telling me before this was 27 air changes an hour. <laughs> it's pretty bad. You start talking about racking up some bills, but not only that, how much dust, pollen, allergens are being sucked yeah, in along with it. So let's go ahead, we're gonna back out of here. We know we've got our volume in there. Okay. Let's set the pressure at 50 pascals. We'll okay. do that, and we'll start with what a normal blower door test is. so cool that you can do so that on that. Right here, you're gonna see the fan ramp up. We're running at 100% on the fan. So what we're gonna look at is when we hit 50 pascals, we shouldn't be able to. Yep. So on this screen, if you can see it, y'all, we're at 22 pascals. We're not even half of where we need to be yet. We're already at 6,000 cubic feet a minute of leakage. So this fan is 6,000 feet running through. That's the leakage. Feel how warm it's getting in here? Yeah, it's hot. So what we're going to do, instead of just looking at the airflow, let's go air changes per hour. You're right. We're so hey, this is showing 18 right halfway now. Halfway there. Yeah. We're already at 18 air changes. And we can only get to 25, it looks like, on this so yeah, far. It's, it's at least 20 air changes per hour. Yeah. So let's check. I want to see something else. So this is at least four times more leaky than code, if not more. We have 1,100 square inches of leakage. 1,100 square inches. So divide that by 144, what's that? So here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and set this up to okay. start for our test. So we're just gonna let this run at 10 pascals. Okay. We don't need to suck all the air out of the house to right. find where it's coming in. Okay, gotcha. But let's go back and talk about this square inches of leakage. Cause I've got it set for 10. You really have just over 1,100 square inches. What we could do is just Most count that inches. as if we were taking a window that was 20 by 50 inches tall, that's how big the hole in this house is right now. Wow. Probably be a good idea for us to close that Yeah, it would hole. be nice to close that window down, wouldn't it? So let's get our infrared camera and we'll get started. All right, I like it, Ken. Thank you so much for watching today. We really hope you enjoyed this video and that it'll help your business. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like and share. We want to get this message out to others. Now, this was the first in a five-part series that we have going on on This House with the Build Show. This first video obviously was on blower doors and getting ready to test. So the next video will be on using infrared and finding air leaks using infrared. After that, the next video will be on removing, and believe me, we found some bad stuff to take out. So that's going to be an interesting video, and we got a lot of tips and tricks on that one. After that, we're going to go into air sealing, including the outlets, and then we'll re-insulate and do the wrap-up. So there's the five. We really hope you watch every one of them. If you have any questions on blower doors or want to get a blower door, or just figure out how to better use it to make your business more profitable. Just reach out to any of our branch managers, those of us at corporate, come by one of the trainings. We have a lot of training on how to add this to your business and what that means in terms of profitability. But reach out to us anytime. Our goal is to help you grow your business profitably. And we look forward to doing that every day. We'll see you on the next episode.